up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you all so much for the love the support the shout out i really really appreciate it if you are new here definitely subscribe here ring the notification bell so that you can be the first to get notified when i upload new video and then of course welcome to the ninja family where we love each other where we support each other and where we share each other out in today's episode i'm talking about seven habits that you need to do before going to the gym. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so number one, and I think this is the most crucial, this is the most important one, is you need to wash yourself. There is nothing as horrible as going to work the whole day going to uni the whole day or going to school the whole day and you are sweating you are stressed and you know there's a little bit of a funk and then just the same way you go to the gym so guess what all that sweat all that funk is gonna be smelled in the gym so it's really 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 important to wash yourself even just like a little bit rinse you know in the bathroom with a wet wipe with a toilet paper or something but you need to rinse yourself rinse your underarms rinse your best friend and just smell good smell fresh and then another one ladies ladies if you are on your monthly please please change it up rinse yourself smell good there is nothing as horrible as smelling another lady in the gym and you know it's all funky and it's just not good and she's on her monthly or sometimes it's just you know the day sweat and um you see guys talking about her and you feel uncomfortable but there's nothing you can do i i mean <laughs> you can't go to someone and be like hey um did you shower before you came to the gym it's very rude and i don't think i want anyone to approach me like that so just for your own sake please freshen up before the gym shower if you can rinse yourself there in the bathroom there at work lock the door or in a public toilet just freshen up you know so that you can be fresh for the gym number two you need to smell your clothes the reason why i say this you want to smell your clothes and see if they smell fresh whether they're clean whether they have a little bit of an odor you know there's nothing as horrible again as going to the gym with last week's gym clothes and they have a little bit of an odor you know they're not so fresh or sometimes they smell staley and you know everybody's inhaling all its tailmills and we're just busy suffocating in the gym because you didn't smell your clothes so please take your leggings or take your short and smell right in there between the legs you just you smell and you see is it fresh is it from the laundry basket or did i just not wash it you take your sport bra or your t-shirt and you just smell it see if it's it's smelling good if it's not put it back put it back because there is nothing as horrible as sweating in last week's sweat just because you didn't have anything else to wear or you didn't smell your clothes so please smell your gym clothes before you put them on before you go to the gym trust me this Second rule will help you a long way. Number three, this one is very important. And I think every single person should do this. Before you go to the gym, please change your underwear. Change the underwear. If you woke up in the morning, obviously you took a shower, you went to work, you went to the uni, you had this underwear on the whole day. And 10 to one, you were sweating. You're running in between classes, lecturing, blah, 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 there is sweat. The number one thing you want to do after you have freshened up is to change your underwear. And I say this out of the most respect because sometimes underwear collect a lot of odor. Um, sometimes when you are wearing a shiny underwear or a bright underwear, whatever, it is see-through or very you know funny funny you know it can be see through the legging and or sometimes those lines you know the lines on the sides they come out and everybody can see it everybody can see that you have a neon bright underwear and it is see through your leggings and you are squatting and it's embarrassing 
if you have friends please always allow your friends to check you out before you go squat or before you go deadlift just to see if you are see through you know and um like what i do i always expect an extra pair of black underwear not necessarily underwear a thong per se in my gym bag so that you know if the one i'm wearing is not working for me at least i have an additional pair you know that goes well so please change your underwear make sure it fits right it's not see-through it's not a bright color it is just perfect number four i like to call it the gym police and you want to do this at home what you want to do is to go through what you're going to wear that day so you will take out your sport bra and your legging or your short pants and a t-shirt and you want to look at it you want to see is it torn is it see-through is it old does it smell funky can i wear it to the gym is it gym appropriate you know because there is nothing more embarrassing than putting on a cute gym outfit you go to the gym and you're on the treadmill for example and everything is like woo, 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 wah, wah, bang bang boom or for gents, you are squatting and you wore a short from last year, you forgot that Christmas, you ate some good food, New Year's, you had some good wine, come the New Year, you're trying to squat and everything rips open. So assess your clothes, make sure they fit right, make sure they sit right, make sure they're not see-through, make sure they won't rip in the gym. Just be a gym police, fashion police, if you want to call it so. <laughs> Number five. The fifth thing you want to do before you go into the gym is make sure that your underarms are clean in terms of shaded. Okay, ladies and gents, please, please, before you go to the gym, maybe the weekend or the Monday or the Sunday, please no hair shave or wax your underarms because the bushes I be seeing these days is beyond me. I don't know whether it's the bush from last year or the bush from the birthday, but that bush gotta go because there is nothing as horrible for a lady to be bench pressing or lifting dumbbells or you know doing shoulder raises and there is a whole jungle, a whole bush. I mean, I just feel like it gotta go. This is a new year, we're doing things properly. So please shave your underarms. I know guys are not much into shaving, but just trim it. You can't have a whole Tarzan hanging out from here. Trim it, let it be clean, let it be neat to all my affluent gentlemen or my affluent ladies and just be cute. Number six. This one goes out to everyone and it's not gender-based nor is it something that I feel is really difficult but what you want to do before going to the gym is you need to eat, okay? Um, if you don't eat before the gym, your sugar levels go low and you get to a point where you are working out but you're tired and 10 to 10, I am getting tired of picking up people from the floor who fainted because they didn't have a meal. You gotta understand that when you are working out, you are burning fat, you are consuming energy. And if you didn't eat, if you didn't fuel yourself, you will be very, very low. You won't have the stamina to work out, you won't have energy to work out. And most of the time, people faint and then they say, like, Oh, but I didn't eat this afternoon. Child of God, please eat before you come to the gym it's as simple as that you can have a sandwich you can have a bowl of rice with some little mints or chicken anything that is rich in carbs is very good anything that is rich in protein is also very very good but just eat an apple a banana drink some juice eat a yogurt just feed yourself up not a lot though because you also don't want you to puke but have energy because we don't want to pick you up from the floor. Please, we don't want to pick you up from the floor. It's a new year. We are doing things differently this year. So please have a small snack or a meal one or two hours before you go to the gym. Last but not least, number seven, what you want to do is check that you have everything. <laughs> this one happens to me a lot where I just grab my bag and I go to the gym. I get to the gym and then I realize, oh my goodness i did not pack my headphones 
and they like playing some very interesting music in the gym so now i am stuck there listening to interesting music as i call it in the gym because i did not pack my headset or i get to the gym and uh, i don't have socks so now i'm forced to wear my sneakers without socks so what you want to do please before you go to the gym before you leave your house make sure you have everything what you want to do you open your bag headphone check gym wear check especially leggings sport bra check socks check extra pair of underwear check deodorant check if you shower at the gym if you shower at the gym flip flop check towel check shower gel check face wash check um deodorant check clothes to wear when i'm done from the gym because you cannot wear what you've been working out in after you took a shower that's just not hygiene it's, it doesn't because the clothes are wet and it's sticky and it's moldy and it's just, uh, it doesn't sit well so what you want to do have a sweatpants have a shirt you know um have some slippers and just pack that in and check 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 and you'll be done also what you want to do make sure make sure you have a water bottle I tend to forget my water bottles all the time and then I'm there at the gym, can I please borrow a water bottle or can I please have a cup just to drink water? You don't want to be that person. It's the new year, check your bag before you go to the gym and make sure you have everything. One last thing, if you have a padlock for your locker, a tiny one or the one with a combination, make sure the night before or that day while you're checking your bag, it is packed. There is nothing as horrible like working out and you're wondering, is my shower gel okay? Is my deodorant okay? Why is my padlock not in? Where did I leave it? I get paranoid a lot, so that's why I check everything before I go to the gym. That's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you feel like I forgot something, definitely add it in the comment section below. We'll get talking. Do check out this video. Do check out this video and until the further next time is goodbye ninjas